Guys, they said Paropo was very angry with Queen Naomi over her recent decisions. And let me tell you, you see Paropo, Kabiesi's father, he loves Queen Naomi so dearly like a daughter. As a matter of fact, this man has played a great role in making sure that Penomi returns back to her matrimonial home. And right now that Penomi is back, he is very, very happy. And one thing I do know is that Paropo would not want Penomi to make a mistake again or do something that will push her out of this marriage again, either directly or indirectly. Uh, Paropo knew very well that this Oluri is the hate Queen Naomi with passion. As a matter of fact, if they, if, if they can have their way, they will push Queen Naomi away out of that palace again. Reason is because they see her as their major threat in that marriage. You know? So, uh, he doesn't want Queen Naomi to make mistake. He doesn't want Queen Naomi to make mistake again. Then, secondly, Queen Naomi is married to Kabiesi just like every other Oloris. And I don't know. I'm just trying to say this to know what you guys think about it. What do you think? Do you think Kwinami will be in that marriage, stay on her own, you know, without in any way interfering or relating with this other Oloris? Because one thing is certain. One thing or the other will make them uh, cross each other's paths. I don't know if you understand what I mean because they are married to KBS. So information have it that Queen Naomi have been making an arrangement. I don't know. They said she discussed it with KBS that uh, she would want to summon all the Oluris, you know, tell them how she feels, how she is not happy over what is happening and everything, and also give them a serious warning. That if they want them to live in peace, that she is ready to live in peace. But if they want them to scatter everywhere, that she is also ready for that. So, I don't know what Kabiesi's decision over this is, but I believe that when Naomi was, like I say, is, uh, is it that maybe she is confused. She wants to know Kabiesi's mind uh, concerning this. They say she discussed it with Kabiesi, that she wants to summon the Oloris to have a brief meeting with them and all of that. And see, to my own, my own understanding, if you ask me, I will say that it's better that she calls them to let them know that she is aware of all their spiritual attack on her and want them to be very careful so that if anything happens to them tomorrow, they will not say she did not warn them. Then the other, my, 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 the other mind is also say, say, telling me that it will be better that they stay on their own, you know, anything they see, let them take. That Penomi should not have call them for any form of meeting. I am just saying in my mind what I think. I don't know what you guys think about it. Uh, whatever you think about this decision of her planning to call the, this Oloris, uh, I want you to tell us in the comment section. Don't forget that before now, they said Ronke have come to KBS so to let KBS see that it will be very um, advisable for Penami to call them for a meeting. Or maybe she was, as a wanted to call the meeting so that they will welcome Penami. They will let her know that they are not fighting her. They are happy that she's back. They have to work in it as a team. Penami have to recognize them. Penami have to respect them. And all of that. That was what they said Ronke have been saying. Ronke came to the king and was saying, and they said, Kabi has just shown her, telling her that uh, she is not, uh, Kwenomi is not doing any form of recognition with them, that Kwenomi is on her own. Kabi has never know that Kwenomi might be thinking in the direction of having a meeting with them. But normally, forget all this spiritual fight and everything, normally it is supposed to be so. They are supposed to meet because they all, they are all Kabiesi's wives now, even though Penomi don't want to be counted among them, you know? So they said, after Penomi discussed this with Kabiesi, maybe Kabiesi discussed it with Paropo, they said Queen Paropo was very, very angry, saying that Penomi should be very, very careful. That one thing Penomi does not know is how much these people hate her. You know that some people might just hate someone, but there are some people that degrade the level of hatred they have for 
you. <laughs> if you know it, you'll be running as fast as your leg can carry you. You know, even when you are running, your, your leg will be touching your head. And that is how Paropo was expecting Quinomi to be running from this solo race. So, in essence, he's telling Quinomi that you need to be very careful. That I am not happy with this decision at all. Thank God, self. Thank God that you have not even called them from what you are hearing. That that decision is not a good one. That these people are too bad. They might do something to you by sitting closer to them. It's better that you day your lane. Let them day their own lane. That was what they say Paropo was telling Quinaomi. That uh, that decision of nurturing in her mind to call these people, to gather them and talk to them and all of that, that it doesn't make sense. Is Quinaomi should know that they don't love her. They don't want her. As a matter of fact, if they come for that meeting, they'll just come here to annoy her the more. Because they wouldn't mind telling her things that will make her to be more angry and even regret calling them. But I believe that at this point, I don't think there's anything that would tell Quinami that will make her that angry if she understands how bitter they are that she has returned back to her matrimonial home despite all the battles. Despite all their babala woes, despite all the juju, despite all the money that they have spent, because these people have spent huge amount of money. They know different babala woes. They have crossed seven rivers. They have crossed seven forests, seven thick forests, twenty-one rivers. Three, hey, everything, just to ensure that Penami did not return. And now Penami is here. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But they say Paropo was not happy with that decision of her trying to summon these Oloris to let them know that uh, they have to behave themselves, this and that. These are adults. They, none of them is younger than Queen. Queen Naomi is younger than, how would I put it? They are all older than Queen Naomi. So I don't even think there is need for her to summon them. You know, they say Paropo have told her that that is not a good idea. That she should learn to be very careful, especially with these Oloris. They don't love her. They don't want her. And the earlier, the better. The earlier she understands it perfectly well, the better for her. And that will make her to know the kind of attitude she will be expecting from them. And how to relate with them. I believe that Quinomi already all know all of this. But maybe she wants to do it for formality's sake. Or she wants to let them know that. Uh, she, her eyes are on them for all their spiritual attacks and everything. But I believe that these people, I believe that if they are sensible enough with this thing that just happened about 21, 27 cats buying and people buying because of it, these people would have called themselves meeting and advised themselves to stop fighting Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi did not do anything to them. Anyway, guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share this video. Bye. Love you guys. See you.